I'm Shelley, one of the physiotherapists at KK Hospital's neonatal department. I'm also a certified child passenger safety technician. In this short video, I'm going to show you three simple steps to car safety in your baby's first year of life. Step one, why to use and how to choose a car seat. Car seats are the only safe way to travel with children in motor vehicles. It's never safe for children to ride in a car in their mother's arms, on someone's lap, in a baby carrier or a sling. Car seats used from birth reduces the risk of death and injury by up to 82%. In the last five years, almost 2,500 children have been admitted to KK's emergency department as a result of road traffic collision. There are lots of options when choosing a car seat and they can be overwhelming. Try to select one that is practical enough for you to use on every single journey, be it in your car, a relative's car, a taxi, or a shuttle bus. Children should travel in rear-facing car seats for at least the first two years of their lives or longer if you can manage it. The simplest car seat for a newborn is an infant-only car seat. These are also known as rear-facing only car seats, infant capsules, or bucket seats. These seats can typically be used until your child exceeds 13 kgs or their head is no longer contained inside the car seat. They are easy to install in any vehicle in any part of the world, and many are designed to attach to a stroller. This makes them a portable and convenient solution for the baby's first year. An alternative to the infant-only car seat is a convertible car seat, also known as the infant-to-toddler car seat or a group 0 plus 1 to 2 car seat. These seats typically fit children until 4 years of age or beyond and will often have both rear-facing and forward-facing modes. They're usually heavier and a bit more expensive than the infant-only car seats but they also have a longer lifespan. Isofix, known as Latch in America, is a method of installing the car seat without using the vehicle's seatbelt. Instead, the car seat is attached to two lower ankles in the vehicle's seat belt, and some forward-facing seats will also attach to the vehicle's top tether ankle. Isofix seats are typically heavier and more expensive, but simpler to install. They're not suitable for taxi travel. Step two, how to buck your baby into an infant car seat. When preparing your child to sit in their car seat, you must ensure that they are not swaddled in a blanket or a sleeping bag, as this can impede how the car seat restrains them in the event of an accident. Place your child in a car seat with their bottom back as far as possible. The shoulder straps of the car seat must come from a position at or below the level of the child's shoulders. To achieve this, you may need to re-thread the shoulder straps through a different slot or use the positioning cushion that came with the car seat. Never use padding, pillows, body supports or covers that were not made by your car seat's manufacturer as specifically for use with that model of car seat. Third-party products can impede your car seat's performance in an accident and it may not sufficiently protect your child. Buckle the harness and pull the tail strap to tighten. The car seat's harness strap should be snug as a hug. If you pinch the webbing of the strap onto itself, then it's too loose. A loose harness is dangerous. Your child could be ejected from the car seat during an accident. American certified car seats typically have a chest clip. Ensure that the chest clip is done up in line with your baby's armpit. If your newborn's chin is touching their chest, turn their head to look over the shoulder and raise the corresponding arm to open their airway. Step three, installing your infant car seat in a vehicle. European car seats, which are easy to identify because they do not have a chest clip, must be installed with a three-point safety belt. It's a seat belt with a lap connection and a shoulder section. Some American car seats, which can be identified by the presence of a chest clip, 
can be installed either with a lap-only seatbelt commonly found in the center rear seat of older vehicles or with a three-point seatbelt. Most American and Australian car seats will require the use of a locking clip to be compatible with vehicles in Singapore. Place the infant car seat so that your child is facing the back of the vehicle. Never place a rear-facing car seat in the front passenger seat of a vehicle with an active airbag. Children should not travel in the front passenger seat until at least 13 years of age. If the passenger airbag deploys in a crash, your child may be severely injured or killed by force of the airbag. Pass the lap section of the vehicle seatbelt through the lap belt guides on the infant car seat. Then, pass the shoulder belt around the back of the infant car seat and through the shoulder belt guide on the car seat. Buckle the seat belt. Take care not to twist the seat belt. A newborn should typically recline at 45 degrees in their infant car seat. To ensure secure installation of the car seat, tighten the lap section of the seat belt by pulling the belt through the latch plate. Pushing the infant car seat downward or rocking it from side to side can help tighten the seat belt. Every car seat in every vehicle should move less than one inch at the belt path when properly installed. Most infant car seats require a handle to be in the upright position or against the vehicle seat back when the car is in motion. This acts as a rebound bar to protect the child in event of an accident. Always read your car seat manual instructions before use. If you need help choosing or using any car seat, please contact a certified child passenger safety technician. You can find a list of resources on our website.